Hi everyone, hope everyone's well. I know it's been a long time. I've had quite a few issues with this webcam and the last few weeks plus have been really brilliantly busy. October was just fun packed. Um, my daughter's birthday, so I do big on birthdays and it was really, really amazing. And we also celebrated the first massive family wedding. So I was a bridesmaid, my daughter was flower girl and um congratulations to the swan so yeah it has been really really brilliantly busy and um i've actually emailed quite a few youtubers uh the fall favorites tag i'm from england so we say autumn we don't say fall that's an american thing and i actually realized i haven't answered it myself so i thought i'd get cracking and answer it why not? So the first question is, what's my favourite full scent? Well, I don't have a favourite anything. I'm just not that kind of person. But in the last in the last week plus, I will just show you what I've been wearing. I absolutely love Jessica Simpson Fancy. It's a really sweet gourmandy, warm perfume. When you wear this, people are just going to hug you. Your kids are going to hug you a bit tighter. Or your partner I just don't think you can go wrong with this it's really candy sweet almondy yummy I just this scent is so inexpensive and I just absolutely really really love it it's a great one another one I've been wearing which is really seductive and chic and and just really warm and um it's just to me this scent which is the Gucci Guilty this is a limited edition version of it it's really uh, how to say I don't know it's just sexy how's that it's, it's a sexy 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 scent and I've been wearing it I love the bottle design but I'll show you this maybe in another video in a bit more detail but I'd recommend that one another one mm, I don't particularly like the dry down this is Orien by Van Cleef and Arpels I've had this perfume for such a long time the bottle is just I was a magpie buying this magpie means that you know I literally bought it for the bottle design it's a really chic really luxurious smelling scent the first initial spray the top notes are beautiful the dry down is quite patchouli so if you like your patchouli chic scents then this is I would recommend this it's very French and it does smell lovely but I can't wear it at the top part of my body it irritates me because that, that patchouli note when it's too strong it just it gives me headaches and it just it just irritates me so I like to wear it on my wrist or I like to wear it on the lower part of my body like on my waistline and that's fine and this draws in compliments but it's a very deep is it very deep it's not very deep it is just it suits winter I could never imagine wearing that in the summer it's definitely a uh, uh, autumn fall winter scent and uh, this as well this is a Bulgari this is Mon Jasmine Noir the essence of a jeweler and this is a really lovely mist it's quite strong you know it's really long lasting and it's a lovely uh, it's a lovely autumn scent because it's musky but it's also quite airy and kind kind of fresh a fresh musky I don't smell any jasmine though so I don't know why they're calling it um, jasmine I mean it says Mon Jasmine Noir which means um, dark jasmine or black jasmine but I don't really detect jasmine per se however it's a really really good mist and I just smell chic wearing this oh it's lovely it's actually very unisex yeah that's what I'm glad I sprayed it that reminded me it's a unisex scent so boys and girls give it a try okay next question Bear with me, darlings. Smooches. Best way to spend a rainy day. The best way to spend a rainy day 
is with a big mug of hot Ribena with a splash of rum in it or Ribena is like a berry cordial and or a nice creamy hot chocolate and wearing nice um, slippers or a onesie or a huge kind of cuddler dressing gown and just plonk on your sofa your couch and just watch some movies with your loved one sitting next to you and and just having a takeaway service you know on speed dial on your phone yeah rainy day Ooh, love rainy days actually when you're stuck inside don't like rainy days when you're outside awful especially in london favorite full drink at the moment i what do i want to drink in autumn autumn drinks i'm definitely you know having a lot more hot chocolates than i would because it's cold and hot chocolate just kind of sits in your tummy and makes you feel really deliciously warm i also feel like for alcoholic drinks do you know what i've been making it's actually on my instagram i've made a uh, sweet berry rosé which is cranberry juice cranberry and raspberry juice i like the ocean spray one and so about 50 percent cranberry and raspberry juice and 50 percent sweet raspberry and strawberry rosé with crushed ice oh my goodness that is when i'm cooking my meals not every day i don't drink alcohol like that but like on a sunday dinner Sunday dinner or like you know midweek evening if I'm cooking a big dinner what I love to do is make that while I'm cooking and it's just so good it just calms you down chills you out and I'm always playing my reggae music in the kitchen and it's just nice so I would say it's a really good autumn drink it's an all year round drink actually but yeah I've been you know treating myself to that more than I should <laughs> well twice a week is not bad is it you know twice a week is not bad Favourite article of clothing this autumn, uh, I'm not really a big fan of clothes, I must say I'm not the best with um, fashion. Accessories, yes, so I would say my favourite item of clothing, to be honest I need to get a new coat, so I think I need to get a new coat, but I do like to wear scarves, scarves are really uh, useful, and I love chunky knit cardies, chunky knit cardigans in autumn are brilliant because the weather is up and down it's so flippant like it's not too cold and it's not too hot so you don't want to be overly hot wearing a big like coat and you don't want to be too cold wearing a jacket so I just layer cardigans chunky knit cardigans they're my favorite uh, la, 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 la. haunted house experience anybody who went to Westwood High School up and forward around the age of 14 in the 90s and you know me do you remember when we went when we went to the ha haunted house so i'm stuttering maybe i'm scared still do you remember the haunted house experience girls oh my goodness there were so many derelict houses really like uh what they call listed buildings we used to go there after school with our fast selves and just go fast not fast fast as patois for being nosy so with our fast selves we used to go and knock on the doors or go in and have adventures and just spook ourselves out and we had so many injuries from it honestly i'm so i'm thank you lord that we survived that because we used to climb stairs that had no um protection or support and we used to get to the top of the stairs and we'd like like peek up like this at the top of the stairs and there would be like a gazillion amount of pigeons and as as soon as we saw, saw them we'd scream and the pigeons would fly all over the house and we were at the top of these stairs with no support, like no still support. <sighs> we could have fallen through roofs, we could have fallen through stairs. Listen, any kids that are watching this video and you want to go and do a haunted house, you know, adventure, cool. But don't go into listed buildings that are unsafe. You know, I'm, I'm glad that we're here. But yeah, I've got loads of stories like haunted houses. We used to spook ourselves out when we were young, you know. There wasn't really that much to do there wasn't like instagram and mobile phones and internet so you know we had a lot of time on our hands and i think we had a lot more fun but i'm just so glad that we survived our adventures crazy uh the scariest movie you've ever seen i'm going way back nightmare on elm street 
when the girl eats the cockroach, or she, no, no, she doesn't eat the cockroach. What am I talking about? She steps on the cockroach, and then when she dreams, Freddy Krueger turns into a cockroach. Ah! I've never watched it again. Candyman. Oh my gosh. Even Jaws. Jaws too. If I watch that now, I'm jumping and screaming about the place. Oh my gosh. Child's Play. It. Those things are still scary. I haven't. Listen. I don't go back and watch those things, but maybe I should. I think they're all on TV at the moment. Maybe I should. Maybe I'll be laughing. It'll be like tomato ketchup and fake um, special effects. Not fake special effects, but the special effects back then is up is really it cannot compare to modern times so maybe i'll laugh now but back then those movies were so so i, I don't have a favorite anything yeah i can list quite a few what do you do on halloween i don't celebrate halloween this halloween though when the door knocked i had so much sweets left over from my daughter's birthday and i just shared them out to the kids but i don't celebrate it which means i don't take part in it so, no, it's not my thing. There's just too much to celebrate in October. I'm not celebrating Halloween. I don't even understand it. As far as I'm aware, it's the devil's birthday. I don't understand why people celebrate it. America is different to England. What I like about the American version of Halloween is that you guys dress up in everything. Like, you dress up as bumblebees and ladybugs and butterflies and uh, Minnie Mouse. And I think that style is coming over to the UK. But the UK... That our version of Halloween, this country's version of Halloween, is more like gory, and I've never been into it even as a kid. I just didn't. I just don't like being frightened. I just don't really like all that stuff. It's spooky, but I don't think it's that much fun to be honest. But good on you if you celebrate it. It's your business. Favorite park to visit? I love parks. British parks are amazing. Parks in London are just so beautiful in the autumn oh gosh, I just I really love the autumn I love all the colors that I see all the leaves the you know the golden yellows and oh, the greens and the reds just beautiful and that crispy crunch when you're walking so my daughter and I go for strolls and there's a lot of parks around so we just randomly go to different parks so many to visit in London I would recommend St James's Park Battersea Park, Dulwich Park, Richmond Park, and uh, what's that one near um, the hospital? Russell? I can't remember the name of it now. But there are so many. And yeah, we, sometimes, you know, when I'm putting the dinner in the oven, like for about 15 minutes left, then we just go for a little walk and then we come back and dinner's ready. And it's just nice because you can communicate with your yourself. Like you can just go, like meditate when you're walking or you can just um, talk with your, your child or if you're in a relationship you know what I mean it's just nice to have a walk I love walking and it's it frees the mind and you can see nature and it's all good it's all good so next question favorite autumn recipe or candy to eat well I'm quite greedy <laughs> I'm quite greedy recipe I would say try and Google Jamaican Guinness Punch because I love a Jamaican Guinness Punch mm, and I make the best. I make the best if I don't say so myself. But Guinness Punch is so thick and creamy and just mm, oh yes, it's a um, it's a good nightcap that drink. Another recipe. I haven't really been. I don't know what to recommend. Maybe some cake recipes like a walnut cake, um, apple crumble with cream or with ice cream. Ooh, and what else is there? And candy to eat? Well, anything that's left over from my daughter's birthday. I like Mawam and Haribo's. And um, what candies do I like to eat? I like chocolate. You know what? I've got a chocolate here. Don't tell anybody. Because I've got my little hidden stash, you know. I wonder how much I've got left of it. This is from a shop called Liddell. Lidl, people. I know I say things differently. It's just how I talk. 
but um, I think it's called Lid. People say Lidl, but I say Lid Lidl because that's just how I like to pronounce the shop. Okay, Lidl, and um, white chocolate strawberry crisp. Listen to me, it's so yum. It's the most beautiful chocolatey crisp. <clears throat> as soon as this video finishes I'm going to finish the rest <laughs> favourite candle to burn in autumn I have it right here I absolutely adore this scent oh it's by the village candle which is really very bloody brilliant it's in, in comparison to Yankee candle the price cheaper the amount that you get in more and this is a Yankee Candle Illuma lid and it fits and it's a two wick and oh, it just smells like it just smells like um, Cornish ice cream vanilla and it just lasts for ages I put this down on my in my hallway standing shelving unit I put that there and it's very inviting it's beautiful and another scent that i have on the same shelf my little papuri this is an old candle jar and i just cleaned it out and i just put papuri inside there and just to freshen it up i like my body shop jasmine and white frangipini it's very sweet and jasmine like i love my jasmine and it's just warm smelling let me just put some drops put some drops on it freshen it up after a while you know your potpourri it starts to lose its scent so just add a few more drops it's lovely what you could do actually with that is you could empty this into like a bag and then add the drops of um, freshener oil or fragrance oil in the bag with the potpourri and then give it a good shake and then place it back in and the smell will distribute a much much better very nice and um, what else favorite color in, color in autumn i love all the autumn colors i love the greens i love the reds that burnt red oh do you know what i've got a lipstick that i'm going to try i'm going to put it on while i'm doing this video let me do it now actually there's a lot of full favourite, autumn favourite tag videos with lots of different questions and I just saw this one somewhere so I used the questions from that. But on one of them it said what's your favourite lipstick and I didn't put that on this one so I'm just adding. So if you want to do this full favourites, if you want to add, add to your own thing. And this is a lip liner by MAC and it's barbecue which i really i re i'm sharpening it sorry i really um wear barbecue but you know obviously we're going into months where you can wear darker colors but i love my matte red lipsticks so i just line my lips with barbecue bbq You see how dark it is? Yeah. And that's too brown for me on its own. And then I've been wearing All Fired Up, which is a really gorgeous retro matte lipstick by MAC. It's very 90s, I must say, the liner and the lippy. But the 90s is coming back, baby. I 
I just love it. Because sometimes the red can be too red. Darling. Mm. So this is what I've been wearing quite a lot. With the barbecue, the BBQ. If it's too red, just add more. Sorry, this is a random slip in, I know. But I think that's really like, you know, just a muted version of All Fired Up. Because on its own, it's a really scarlet red. Yeah, so I like that lippy. So that's an add to the autumn favourites. And... What is your favourite thing about autumn? My daughter's birthday reminds me of that beautiful sunny day every single year. Honestly, every single year on my daughter's birthday since the day she was born, that day is sunny and bright and warm. Every year, when well, until she was about six, no, until she was seven, we had a bouncy castle in the garden. It's that the weather is just that great. So I love that it's, it reminds me of my motherhood, my, my beginnings. And I just love the change of the season. I just love how it's cold, but it's bright. You know, like, look at the sun. And uh, I just like, I like actually wearing winter clothing, like autumn clothing. And um, I like the dark hair that starts to appear on people, the dark midnight blues and or the dark, like, chocolate brown hair colours that start to come in. And I don't know, I just... And, and it's just that whole kind of tingling feeling that you know, you know that Christmas is coming. So, yeah, I love the autumn. I do. But, you know, England can get very cold. And I don't like that. I don't like that. Because I love Jamaica. That's where my family are from. And it makes me a little bit homesick. Even though I'm not from there, my heart is there. So it makes me a little bit, you know, homesick. And who else would you like to see complete this? All of you. And if you want to variate it and add little bits in, why not? Just make sure that you put it in your description. But just everybody. To be honest, I've emailed quite a lot of people to do it. And some people have and some people haven't. And that's cool. And um, those that have done it, I enjoyed watching it. And those of you who are thinking about doing it, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You know, I love watching YouTube videos. If you don't see me for a while, I'm still scouring the YouTube channels and I'm still liking your videos and commenting. But, you know, life is busy and I am really, really fingers crossed that Black Friday this month that I can get a really good quality camera so I can do my filming without interruption. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I know it's a bit long, but you know me already. What did I try on? Was it this? I've got to go out now do a bit of shopping but yeah oh that smells really good but I love this one. Oh, do you know what I don't know what I've got on today <laughs> everything as per try them try them and enjoy your day happy autumn happy fall see ya